There is also a scenario where there will be a product with car application with required options that have flat prices. So it has a single price increase for that particular option. So for example, there is an AAM air intake. And let's say this is an AAM air intake. And that AAM air intake comes in three different colors, chrome, red, and blue. Now, if chrome, red, and blue was the same exact price, then you can simply go to options and say, well, we have a color that comes in red, blue, and chrome. So we would have red, blue, and chrome. And it's all the same price. Therefore, we just have one price here, and these options are simply to choose the different colors. Now that's a scenario if those are required options, which means that AEM needs to know if it's chrome, red, or blue, there is no exception, because there is no such thing as a Honda Accord intake. It always comes in those three different colors. But in AEM scenario, red has one price, chrome has one price, and blue has one price, so there's three different prices. Now, as we spoke before, there is an option where we can create the different type of products, such as red, blue, and chrome, maybe even make them hidden products, and you can make a product uh, hidden from displaying on your website by going into product and then rules and hidden, so it's only available through your back office just for this exact purpose. This way you would say that there is three different choices, and... I'm going to attach a chrome product to it, a blue product to it, and a red product to it, and these are the different increases. But what happens if there's always a different price? So there is no flat price for an increase of red, or blue, and chrome. It's always across the board. One is $20 more, one is $40 more, one is $50 more. So in that case, the only way to enter it is actually making multiple different products with multiple different part numbers for the same car inside the car application. So let's look at one scenario. Let's say we are selling an AEM intake. That's blue. We put in the part number here. We put in the price for blue, put in the dimensions, the specifications that it's blue. Now normally, as I said before in video 1.8.3, we do not enter anything in the notes unless it's a precaution or something critical. So notes are always skipped unless you need to tell something to the customer that he needs to know. You will not put the color blue in the notes because if you enter it in the notes, you're going to have three Acura RSXs with the same exact year, and the only way you'll see why there's three of them is if you click on it, it's going to say note blue, note red, note chrome. So we don't want that. We want to display it on the drop-down box to say if it's red, blue, or chrome so the customer doesn't have to click on each one of them to see what color it is. So we will not enter the notes. Instead, we will enter it in exterior options. Notice that under each restriction there is a blank option in the text box. There's an engine option, exterior option, and interior option. Or in this case, since we're doing a performance part, we're gonna put it under engine. We're gonna say blue. You can say blue intake. I'm just gonna put blue because technically it should make sense that the intake is blue. Press OK. So now it says IV tag blue which means this term, Honda Accord VTAG Blue, is going to come up here. It's going to say Honda Accord the year slash VTAG Blue, and then red and chrome if I enter those. So the way you enter the next one is you just simply click on new, and you enter it again, AEM red intake. You put in the price. Notice everything gets pre-filled for you automatically. If you click on this button, it's going to pre-fill from the previous dimension, so you don't have to type this again. For the specification, it shows up with the previous entry. There's usually a part number here. And now we do the same thing. We put in Honda Accord. We'll put in 07. And now we're going to put that this one is red. So we have a blue and a red two different intakes, and that's how you would enter the products that have required options.